Some of these guys are going to speak a few words, and some will not. Please say hello to Albert Almora, Jr. The Cy Young winner of 2015, Jake Arrieta. The co-MVP of the National League Championship Series, Javier Baez. National League MVP candidate, Chris Bryant. Pitcher, Trevor Cahill. Pitcher, Arolas Chapman. Chris Coughlin. Catcher, Wilson Contreras. Pitcher, Carl Edwards, Jr. And now to speak a few words, he led off Game 7 of the World Series with a home run, Dexter Fowler. I guess I'm the first one on the mic. It's nothing new. You know what they say, they say, you go, we go. So I'm going. <laughs> No, thank you, thank you, Cubs for thank you, Cubs fans for coming out. Y'all are the best in the in the world. Um, thank you for having me. Y'all are like family. Y'all extended family to me, and I love y'all forever. Go Cubs! A nice welcome for pitcher Justin Grimm. Starting pitcher Jason Hamill. This guy led the big leagues in earned run average. He was the winning pitcher in the pennant clinching game. He pitched great in game seven, Kyle Hendricks. Outfielder Jason Hayward. Infielder Tommy LaStella. Pitcher John Lackey. Cy Young candidate, 19 game winner. Winner of game five in both the league championship series and the world series, John Lester. How about this shit? Sorry, kids. One more time. This is really the only thing I want to say is one more time for David Ross. I love you, buddy. Woody, keep your shirt on. Thanks, man. This guy hit the most famous Grand Slam in Cubs history. He's gonna say a few words, Miguel Montero. We are good, boys! This guy had the save in game seven of the World Series. Mike Montgomery. Pitcher Hector Rondon. A 
big welcome to a blossoming superstar, Addison Russell. This young guy is going to say a few words. He is quickly becoming a legend. Kyle Schwerber. thank everyone out here um, it was a crazy year for me uh, the, you guys kept me going through the rehab and all the credit goes to my teammates they, they pushed me through it uh, they <laughs> they got to the World Series and for me to be able to contribute it was awesome I love you guys we're world champs let's do it again next year nice welcome for pitcher Joe Smith Outfielder Jorge Soler. Pitcher Pedro Stroke. Outfielder Matt Caesar. Pitcher Travis Wood. Pitcher Rob Zestrizny. And this next gentleman wants to say a few words. World Series MVP, Ben Zobris. thing this game makes a lot of individual awards but uh, this is this is definitely a team award for this team this is a team full of MVPs and we're in a city of MVPs look I've been blessed far more than I ever deserved or expected in this game God has given a lot to me and I'm so thankful for that he gave me the opportunity to hold a trophy just like that last year and hoist it up. And I thought, how can I ever top this? And then I started thinking about Chicago. I started thinking about Wrigley Field, 108 years. And I said, I want to be part of that. So I literally, I promise you, I prayed during free agency last year to be a Chicago Cub. And thankfully, God and the Cubs, thank you, Theo, made it happen. And I embarked on a journey with these guys to bring this elusive championship to the north side. A lot of expectations this year. These guys met every one of them. We all year long battled together, and we had it. We knew we had it until we were down 3-1 in the World Series. It was silent in that clubhouse, let me tell you. And then the man, the myth, the legend, David Ross spoke up. He said, no, don't do that. Don't hang your heads. He said, we're the best team. He said, we've come back. We've won three games in a row a lot this year, and we're going to do it. He said, one pitch, one inning at a time. And then, the next day, the Italian stallion, our own Italian stallion, Anthony Rizzo, 
goal of this club played Rocky movies all day long in the clubhouse. Rocky quotes. And now I'm a small town Illinois kid, grew up downstate, but I used to watch Rocky movies to be inspired before my games when I was a kid. So you better believe when he started that stuff up, I was all about it. And I was pumped up. And, sh and sure enough, I tell you what, this team, this team answered the bell. Games five, six, and seven, it was like a heavyweight fight. And this, this ball club pulled through for all of you. Thank you so much, Chicago, for this opportunity. Thank you so much. This is your team. Thank you. I mentioned Chris Bryant's an MVP candidate. Likewise, this next guy is not only an MVP candidate, but he's a team leader. We have seen him become a superstar right before our eyes. Big welcome, he's gonna speak, Anthony Rizzo. It happened, baby. It happened. Um, real quick, there's a lot of people that obviously are on this stage, but there's a lot of people that aren't from top to bottom, from the Dominican Republic to Tom Ricketts, everyone in between, all the minor league coaches that have put in the work for this uh, that aren't getting recognized. We thank them, we thank our entire organization, our medical staff, everyone. Um, two guys I wanna single out real quick is uh, VJ, our traveling secretary. Is, is the absolute man. He, he's the reason why we can do anything is possible through him. And uh, another guy that I don't think is up here is our strength coach, Tim Buss. Um, he, he really, he keeps us going every day. It's such a grind. And uh, Tim Buss is, is every single day coming in and, and, and getting us going. And as you can see, these guys mean so much to this team that really no one knows about. And uh, all the scouting people, all the directors, thank you. But these two guys mean so much to our team, and they, they don't get credit. And what better way to do it in front of five million people? So uh, also, uh, real quick, for, for every, I feel, I feel like I was here. I was here during the bad times, and I got so much into the culture of the Chicago Cubs that every single person that has worn this jersey I feel like won the World Series with us today, or the other day. Dempster, Kerry Wood, um, Ernie Banks, who who is looking down, smiling so so bright right now. Um, Billy Williams, Ronnie Sano. It's just every single player that's still living too has has been a big reason we're here and a big part of this, and we thank them. And uh, the last guy, well, two more. Uh, the families, the wives, the girlfriends, uh, all the parents that are here, the sacrifice that they make for us uh, all the time is unbelievable. We're, 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 our schedules are so demanding, and uh, without them supporting us, we're not standing here. Uh, and uh, last, lastly, I, before I introduce him, I want to say a few words about him. Uh, the grandpa. He. Uh, Gramps and I sat down a few years ago uh, in an off season before his last year with Boston, he was a free agent. And we just talked and uh, I, we have the same agency and we're talking and I, and I say to my agent, I go, man, this is exactly what the Chicago Cubs need. He is exactly what we need to bring everything together. And obviously a lot of pieces came through with that, but he taught myself personally how to, how to become a real winner. And Woo. He's like a, he's like a brother to me. He's taught me how to be. He's taught me a lot in life, on the field, off the field, how to be a better person. Uh, 
for, I'm forever grateful for him. And uh, he's going out a champion forever. For the rest of his life, he could say the last game he played in, he's a world champion. Uh, let's bring up David Ross. I just, I'm gonna be quick. I wanna thank my family, my, my wife, Hyla, my kids, Landry Cole, Harper, my mom and dad, and this group right behind me. Thank you guys. The best seat in the house is right here. Cheering on the Cubs with the greatest fans in the world and the greatest beer in the world, Budweiser. Yeah, nothing quenches a Cub fan's thirst for victory quite like the King of Beer. Oh, yeah. oh, here comes another one. 